Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. Wow. Mauricio Suleiman of the WBC just announced some very exciting light heavyweight news. Stay tuned. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang gang, notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats, channel donations, the Venmo donations, and the Patreon family. We are working. Also, shout out to worldboxingnews.net. The link is in the description so you can read the article in its entirety. And WBC President Mauricio Suleiman gave very exciting news, kind of outlining the preliminary of this brand new year, 2018. He talked about Joshua versus Wilder. He said they want to make that fight, but obviously they're trying to make the, the fight with Luis Ortiz first. Joshua to fight against Joseph Parker at Cruiserweight. Maris Bradis versus Alexander Usyk, which we know from the, the World Boxing Super Series. But I got to talk about this light heavyweight deal. And it says champion Adonis, Adonis Stevenson will fight former WBC super middleweight champion Badu Jack in a highly anticipated match. So I did an ego rumor mill a while ago and it's looking like this is actually going down. Now, I don't know if this is the same card, but it also says mandatory challenger Alider Alvarez will fight Alexander Vodstick for the WBC interim title due to the fact that the mandatory defense has been delayed for several reasons. Both winners must fight immediately after their matches. So let me put this in perspective. One, this is great news because Sergey Kovalev is fighting in March. I don't know the date for this Adonis Stevenson, Badu Jack stuff, but Sergey Kovalev is fighting Igor McKelkin, whoever the hell that is. He's fighting him in March. On that card, you have Dimitri Bevel, who is a champion, and you have Sullivan Barrera, who's earned, pretty much earned a title shot after his loss to Andre Ward, right? So that's going down. And then you look on this side of, this is all in the same division. Mauricio Suleiman is saying a main event between Adonis Stevenson and Badu Jack. Badu Jack, his very first fight at light heavyweight, I was there. It was on the Mayweather-McGregor undercard. He beat Nathan Cleverly, and he beat him beat his ass really you know what I mean? and cleverly was a champion even though he had previous loss to um andres from far and then been stopped by kovalev and stuff he had reclaimed a title right so that's impressive adonis stevenson listen i like adonis stevenson um i think he's a one-handed fighter but that one hand got smoke smoke waiting for you he's a good fighter he's athletic comes from the cronk gym I like Adonis Stevenson. The only complaint that myself and other people have with Adonis Stevenson is since Chad Dawson, he hasn't really fought anyone that we would rate up there with Chad Dawson. Like he has some Tavor's Clouds and he fought Tom Carpency, Andres from Far twice. But you know, I mean, matches that like Ad Andre Ward and Adonis or Kovalev and Adonis, you know, I mean, great matches for whatever reason never materialized with Adonis Stevenson but now him fighting Badu Jack that that's a good fight and the other thing is Adonis Stevenson his mandatory for the last I think two years or so maybe even longer than that was the leader Alvarez and he never never fought him so a lot of people were angry with that now I will say this is partly a leader Alvarez's fault because he kept taking step aside money he was talking about oh I'm gonna sue Adonis Stevenson and he won't give me my chance and my opportunity don't take the step aside money force your position you know what I mean you can't have your cake and eat it too so to me as far as I'm concerned all goes out the window when you accept you know what I mean it's like you're accepting a plea deal you know what I mean I'm stepping aside for this amount of money knowing Adonis is rematching for Farah or whatever fight is pushing your mandatory obligation aside. But I like this fight with the leader Alvarez and Alexander Vodstick. Um, I was at Vodstick, I think his last fight with Craig Baker on the Crawford and Dongo card. I don't know that he's fought since then. He's an in shape dude. He showed that he can box. He's from the Ukraine, just like he's friends with Lomachenko and Usyk. 
And one thing I noticed about the, that trio of friends is they're all nimble and athletic, lean in shape, and they can box. You know what I mean? They can all box and move. And he showed me some different wrinkles in his fight game. He's not just the nail with power and stuff. He can um, he display good boxing there. You know what I mean? And got on his toes and had to put it together more versus that Craig Baker. So, man, shout out to the WBC. Shout out to PBC. Once again, I mean, we know Adonis Stevenson versus Badu Jack for certain will be on a PBC affiliate. Probably Showtime or whatever. That's a good fight at light heavyweight. Meaningful fight. Um, Badu Jack, I believe, after he beat Cleverly, he vacated that title. So the only title on the line would be Adonna Stevenson's WBC title. But still, still a title shot. It's still, in my opinion, the best guy that Adonna Stevenson has fought in a while with the best momentum. Badu Jack has done a lot of things. Shout out to my dude, the Ripper Jack. He's done a lot of things since his loss. People, oh, he got stopped. I mean, you can keep holding that. It's like it's, it's like Danny Jacobs. Him and Badu Jack, everyone keeps talking about their loss that they suffered uh, years ago. And they don't talk about what they've done since. Danny Jacobs beat Peter Quillen, beat Sergio Mora twice, then stopped him better the second time. Gave Golovkin a run for his many. Beat Luis Cuba Adias. Beat Caleb Truex, who is a current champion. Same thing with Badu Jack. Yeah, he's been stopped before. But at the same time as boxing, anything can happen. What has he done since? Beat George Groves, who's in the W, um, beat the WBSS or whatever, versus Chris Eubank Jr. Eubank Jr. Right, and he beat Anthony Durrell when he was a champion. He beat James DeGell, as far as I seen. They said it was a draw, but he knocked his teeth out. He won. He beat him. Right. So he's done a lot of things in his career since then. Nathan Cleverly. So this is a good fight. Stevenson versus Jack. Shout out to, again, WBC and PBC. Um, they're killing it with their schedule. I'm looking forward to this. And then if they put this on the same card, that's killer. A leader, Alvarez versus Alexander Vodstick, who's a top ranked fighter, so I don't know. Maybe they'll just put it on the same card. Maybe they won't. I don't know exactly what will happen with Vodstick since he is a top ranked fighter. But that'd be killer if they put it on the same card let me know what you guys think drop your thoughts in the comment section make sure you smash the like button as always hate comment and subscribe till next video is ego signing off so if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel you can show your appreciation by going to the paypal donate button or the youtube support button and you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video much more to come thank you guys for your support boxing ego the future of boxing yeah.